Hi, today is May 1st, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 674 for the year, Crow in the Graveyard. I'm a crow hanging out in the graveyard, because why wouldn't I do that? I'm not superstitious about graveyards. I'm a crow. People are superstitious about me. Sometimes I like to stand around in the graveyard and think about how people think I'm a bad omen. I'm not a bad omen, of course. I'm just a fucking crow hanging out in a graveyard. And hey, if people are frightened when they see me, that's on them. I'm not doing anything other than being who I am, and who I am is a goddamn crow in a goddamn graveyard. If you're afraid of me, if you can only see me through a lens of prejudice and fear, well, I can't help you, and I don't even know if I want to help you. Insincerely yours, the crow in the graveyard. Poem number 675, Good Morning, May. Good morning, May. You're looking pretty good so far. Maybe a little overcast. Maybe sometimes April flowers bring May showers. Although, how would that work? Yesterday morning, I was talking to April about what a wonderful month it had been, but between you and me, May, the last day of April kind of sucked for me, May. I hope this first day of May will be better than the last day of April. I'm con I am cautiously optimistic, like a tree with caution tape wrapped around it, if such a tree were optimistic. Regardless, good morning, May. So far, so good. Poem number 676, On the Way to Baker Falls. On Monday, on the way to Baker Falls, a bit before I saw a crow in a graveyard, and just before I was getting ready to take a picture of a Bad Brains mural on Bleecker, I bumped into Jeffrey Cipher's Wright, who I believe will be the subject of the next poem, although I am often incorrect about such things. Jeff was on his way to a gallery opening of a show called Spirited Women at the Zercher Gallery down, just down the block, so I was like, why the fuck not? And I checked it out, and it was a great, great show. Jeff took a picture which he sent to me in which he posted of me standing next to the work of Jenny Toth, who I had a brief conversation with. I told Jenny that I write poetry every day and asked if I could use the picture that Jeff took and maybe write a poem about it, and the prospect seemed to please her. However, I looked fat in the photo. I tried cop cropping it, but I still looked fat. Very shortly after I took the picture of the crow in the graveyard, I got a call and turned around and met some friends who were around the corner. One of those friends made it to Baker Falls a bit later, but I did not. Poem number 677, Jeffrey Cipher's Right. Gotta love Jeffrey Cipher's right. More than 30 years ago, he put me on the cover of Cover, the publication he published back in the day. Gotta be jealous of Jeffrey Cipher's right. He studied with Allen Ginsberg. He's won a Kathy Acker Award. And he somehow has managed to keep Wikipedia from revealing his age and real middle name. Unless, of course, somehow his real middle name is actually Cipher's. Gotta wonder how he has managed to do that, because every time I go into Wikipedia and try to delete my real middle name or age, somebody puts it back in, like, almost immediately. Jeffrey Cipher's right. Gotta love him. Gotta be jealous of him. And you gotta wonder where his magical Wikipedia powers came from. And the last poem of the day, poem number 678, The Very Many Things. There were so many things that she wanted to say that she didn't want to say. There were so many things that she wanted to do that she didn't want to do. There were people and places she wanted to visit that she didn't want to see. There were puzzles and problems she wanted to solve that she also wanted to just let be. As the sun kept rising and moving across the sky, time was running out, and it seemed as though the very many things she wanted and didn't want would either happen or would not, and she was fine with that. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Happy May.